Installing Kohler Elmbrook Bath and Shower Doors This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation and care guide packed with your product for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Warning! Risk of serious injury. Damage prior to installation can result in glass shattering. Inspect the glass and all parts for damage before installation. After installation, regularly inspect the glass and all parts for damaged, missing, or loose parts. Before you begin the installation, confirm the bath or shower ledge and wall meet the following requirements. The ledge and wall must have at least 3 inches of flat surface. The walls must be within 3 eighths inch of plumb. The ledge must be level. Confirm the door is correctly sized for your bath or shower. Refer to the shower space measurement video for Kohler sliding doors to determine what size door is right for your showering space. Do not install the door if any of these requirements are not met. Cover the drain with tape to avoid the loss of small parts. Measure the distance between the walls along the shower ledge. Mark this distance on the threshold. Make a second mark 11 16 inch to the inside of the first mark. Cut the threshold at the second mark and file any rough edges. Center the threshold on the shower ledge between the walls. If there is a lip on the front of the shower ledge, align the threshold against the lip. For ledges without lips, make sure the threshold sits flat and is 1 8 inch from the front of the shower ledge along its entire length. If needed, file the ends of the threshold to fit the corner radius of the shower. Tape the threshold in place. Use a pencil to mark the location of the threshold. Remove the tape and apply 100% silicone sealant to the groove in the bottom of the threshold. Realign the threshold on the mark, then tape the threshold in place. Position the first wall jam over the threshold with the bumper inside the shower area. If needed, use a coin to match and transfer the corner radius of the shower to the wall jam. Trim and file the wall jam. Ensure the wall jam is plumb, then tape the jam in place. Use a pencil to mark the location of the wall jam. Position the second wall jam over the threshold with the bumper inside the shower area. If needed, use a coin to match and transfer the corner radius of the shower to the wall jam. Trim and file the wall jam. Ensure the wall jam is plumb, then tape the jam in place. Use a pencil to mark the location of the wall jam. Confirm the threshold is still aligned with the mark you made earlier. Mark the wall jam anchor locations on the walls. Remove the wall jams and set them aside. Drill a quarter inch hole at each mark. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Install the provided wall anchors. Before proceeding, clean up any debris. Use a wet rag to erase the pencil marks you made along the front of the threshold and along each wall jam. Align the wall jams with the anchors, then secure the jams to the walls using the provided screws. Note there is a left and a right cleat. Slide the cleats into the channel between the wall jam and the wall. Ensure the cleats are level. Using the cleats as a guide, drill two quarter inch holes diagonally from each other. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Remove the cleats and install the wall anchors. Reinstall the cleats to the wall jams and secure them to the wall using the provided screws. Ensure the cleats are still level. If the cleats are not level, loosen the screws and adjust them as needed. Repeat this process to install the second cleat. Important! Confirm all measurements before cutting the header. Do not cut the header too short. Measure the distance between the walls and mark the distance on the header. Make a second mark one half inch to the inside of the first mark. Cut the header at the second mark. File any rough edges and clean any debris from the header channels. Note there is a left and right bumper. 
With the labels on the header facing you, slide the bumpers onto the header. From inside the shower, raise the header above the cleats with the labels facing out. Lower the header onto the cleats at an angle, so the top inside corner fits over both cleats. Then rotate the header flat against the cleats. From inside the shower, drill two 964ths inch holes through the header using the cleats as a template. Secure the header to the cleats with the provided self-drilling screws. Note that the tips of the screws will protrude through the header, but will be covered by the top bumpers. Clean any debris from the header channels and slide the bumpers against the walls. If needed, use a coin to match any curvature of the shower radius to the wall jam covers. Trim and file the wall jam covers. Position the notch in the wall jam cover over the threshold. Then press the cover onto the wall jam. Note there will be a slight gap between the wall jam cover and the wall. Remove the tape holding the threshold in place. Starting at one end of the threshold, firmly press the threshold seal completely into the threshold groove. Use scissors to trim any excess seal. Tape the threshold in place. Locate the inside door panel. The holes on the inside panel are 4 and 3 eighths inches below the top of the panel. Locate the inside rollers. Note the inside rollers contain a brass insert. Orient the inside panel so the holes for the door handle will be on the same side of the shower as the shower head when the panel is installed. Position the roller on the side of the glass that will face outside the shower area. On the other side of the glass, orient the tab upward on the clamp and insert the clamp and screw through the glass. Using a Phillips screwdriver, securely tighten the screw. Do not use a drill to tighten the screw. With assistance, move the inside panel top first into the shower area. Angle the panel so the top of the rollers goes into the lower track of the header. Then rotate the panel vertical so the rollers rest on the track. Orient the outside panel so the holes for the door handle will be on the side of the shower opposite the shower head when the panel is installed. Position the roller and clip on the side of the glass that will face inside the shower area. On the other side of the glass, orient the tab upward on the clamp and insert the clamp and screw through the glass. Using a Phillips screwdriver, securely tighten the screw. Do not use a drill to tighten the screw. With assistance, lift the outside panel into place over the header with the right roller directly above the panel insertion area. Lower the clip into the header so the roller rests on the track and the bottom of the panel is positioned to the inside of the threshold. Then lift up the left side of the panel and slide the panel to the left until the other roller is lined up with the panel insertion area. Lower the clip into the header so the roller rests on the track. Slide both door panels back and forth and confirm that they are securely engaged with the header. Measure the center of the threshold and make a mark on the shower ledge. Remove the tape holding the threshold in place. Partially thread the set screw into the center guide. Then snap the center guide into place on the threshold. Ensure that the guide is fully seated behind the threshold lip. Slide both door panels into the center guide channels. Slide the center guide down the threshold until the set screw hole is aligned with the center line mark. Confirm that the center guide is still aligned with the center line mark, then secure the guide with the set screw. Elmbrook doors are designed to be adjustable after installation to accommodate for out of plumb walls. To adjust the door panels, refer to the installation instructions packed with your product. Snap roller caps on each of the four rollers. Press the wall jam caps onto each wall jam. Install the handles by following the instructions packed with your product. Apply 100% silicone sealant along the inside and outside of the wall jams and along the outside edge of the threshold. Allow the sealant to cure according to the manufacturer's instructions before using the shower.